Good morning, um, it's Cindy from The Craft Project again and today I'm back to do a quick video um, with some techniques for finishing off our little book that we made um, Today I'm going to show you how to make these um, funky little birds Okay, so let's get going So um, I'm going to be working on a separate piece because I've already done mine in my little book and I'm working with watercolours um, so pan based watercolours like these and we can mix them up with water and we get some lovely bright colours so um, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a couple of splodges with our watercolours so let's um, let's wake one up let's have this nice purple it's rather good and we're going to make a nice splodge like that with some colour however you want to do it um, now I've got a piece of um, kitchen roll here I'm going to take some of the colour off. I know that seems a bit mad, but it adds a bit of texture and we can go back in later and add a bit more colour, which just gives us our basic blob. And I'm going to do, I think, an orange buddy. Let's get some orange. And just do another blob, whatever size you want. Okay, I will take that off as well. Okay, now, hoping that's dry. I don't really want to use a heat gun on it because that will be a horrible big noise. So all we're going to do now is add a bit of detail. And this is how we turn it into a cute little quirky bird. Um, and you really don't need very much in the way of skills to do this. So I've got a micron pen. Uh, this one is a 0.3, but you can use whatever you've got. So the first thing we're going to do is outline this splodge with our pen in a wiggly line. There we go. And I'm going to do this one as well. Okay, now we need to start adding some detail so that it's got a bit of character. So I'm going to add an eye. You can have an eye too, and a beak, a couple of legs, the feet. So you could make these a double line if you think they're a bit too spindly. Let me let me rust rust rush to assure you that this is not fine art. Okay, what else can we do? We can add a wing, maybe. However you want to do it. Let's do that one. And a tail would be kind of funky. So let's do something. Maybe add some twirly bits. And this one, we could do kind of a triangular one. Ooh, that'll do. That's about it. Now I'm going to take um, my brush again and go in and add a little bit more colour in these tails. And maybe a little bit more depth let's pick up a little bit of another color maybe go with a little bit of blue and that just really wakes it up a bit you will note i am not particularly keeping between the lines they are not supposed to be fine art and i keep saying that just repeating myself i suppose 
Okay, if you get a bit too much, then use that um, kitchen roll again. So we're going to do the same thing to the other one. Just make sure you're not your brushes are clean in between changing colours. You know, do as I say, not as I do, because I'm always making a big mess like that. Um, what can we have? What's this? It's sort of a red, I think. Okay, it's a bit of red. Just adding that bit of colour, just... Um, I'm doing this really fast so you can do them this fast or you can take a bit longer it's entirely up to you that's kind of pretty much all I'm going to do you could take um, a fine paintbrush and do the beaks but I'm just for this occasion I'm just going to go in with a pencil we could use a pen okay it's kind of done um, one of the other things I do is maybe just take a little bit of grey or something and, and just run that across the bottom. Just make some kind of stuck in. We've got a lot of white space there so what I would tend to do is pick up some colour. If you've got a fancy fan brush like this that's great but it's not essential maybe just do some splodges and that's just a way to fill up the background let's have a let's have a bit of the orange as well see if we can get do it twice oh that just fills up some of that space without um, it being too demanding so I've also got a little word I've just put that there and then outlined it with my micron pen and one final little thing you can do um, <clears throat> when it's dry and this is another one that's dry you can use a white gel pen maybe just to put some detail some doodling whatever you fancy just to make your little quirky birds even quirkier and that is that for the little quirky birds <laughs>